Hello, welcome to Unit 3. We shall be providing insight on the historical perspective of open educational resources with specific focus on actors and triggers of OER. Recall that in Unit 2, we identified types and characteristics of open educational resources. Some preliminary concepts provide better understanding here. Copyright is used to protect authorship prior to ICT and the internet age. Worthy of note is that copyright gave creators the moral rights and monopoly of their invention for a certain amount of time before they fall into the public domain. The concept of public domain was established in the 18th centuries and this varies from country to country from 50 to 100 years. The production chain in analog markets consists of the authors, inventors, musicians and these requires the services of intermediary agents like the publishers, the printers, retailers and so on. The advent of internet made content available online and once a content is online suddenly anyone can adapt and reproduce and even make profits thus countries began to pass laws that counter bypassing intermediary agents for example the sony bono copyright term extension act and the digital millennium copyright act it is against the backdrop of these restrictions that Lawrence Lessing and co, with the support of the Center for the Public Domain, founded the Creative Commons with the first set of copyright licenses released in 2002. These events pave way for the OER initiatives, declarations and action plans. Let us now highlight some of the timelines of open educational resources starting from 1999 till date. I hope you enjoyed going through this unit. Thank you for your time. See you soon.